Day one, Monday. Rusty. Monday. Monday Rusty. Um, things that we are doing for this. Um, we just so happen to have it all pre-prepared. Um, so we have the things that I do have already, which are the motors, the ESCs, the BEC, the safety kit, um, the motor mounts, and all of the stuff down here that we bought uh, previously. Things that I need, um, probably some a battery, might need one of them. Uh, some servos later down the line, I'm not fussed now. The correct size nuts and bolts, because I got the wrong size. Oh, what a silly poo. Um, silver spray paint, rust colored paint, and I need to add to that actually, need some tracks. Tracks. It is cold today, very cold. Haven't put the heater on. Um, that's probably why it's so cold in here. The lights sound like they're having a fit. Um, anyway, so plan, plan of action. Um, first thing I'm going to do is pop online, buy a battery. Uh, I'm not going to worry about servos this week, not fussed about getting the weaponry actually working. Um, we, will, we will build the weapon system up to look how it's meant to, uh, but I'm not fussed about it actually moving this week. Um, we might just chuck a couple of holes in the pipe and, and have it loose. Uh, we will eventually put some servos in there, so it is a servo powered hammer. Um, then we will probably have a look, little 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 trip up to uh, up to some places that sell some things, things like Argos to get some tracks potentially. Uh, and failing that, we'll see what Lego have to offer. Um, so I think that's probably going to be the easiest way to do caterpillar tracks. I don't have any way of moulding them myself. Um, and the idea is that this is going to be as hand built as I can possibly get it. Um, I think we should probably first l maybe measure how big this is going to be so we know what size tracks we need. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Let's do that. We've got this lovely big workspace. So, the idea is we've got the tube that is going to act as the tube at the front uh, in here where the two servers are going to go and the weaponry will come out of there. That needs to be cut down. Um, we've got the chopping boards to make uh, the body of the thing. And I'm thinking, potentially, that this... Because Rusty is... The width of the body of Rusty is about the width of this. Um, the electronics aren't massive, so I don't think we need to go all that much bigger. Um, so I'm thinking... Is that about a good length? That looks about right. And then height-wise, it's going to be, what? Probably about the height of one of these chopping board doodads that are surrounding the chopping boards. Um, so we will we'll mark them up with these. Um, there's one. And I think the whole robot is probably going to be the, the width of that chopping board, to be fair, with tracks and all. Um, so we've got them. We've got the hammer that's going to be chopped down. So I've already made a little mark on the hammer where it's going to be chopped. Um, but that's going to be out the front, so I'm going to put it about. We'll we'll put it slightly off centre. Um, probably not going to be the final length of it. We've got this bit that's going to maybe be chopped down. I don't know. Um, but that was going to be at the front. Move these chopping boards out the way. Buh, buh, buh. Very annoying. Uh, let's go with that. That works bouncing out. We've got this, and Rusty, Rusty doesn't have that, it's got something solid over the top, but uh, 
it's tempting to use this instead because it's bendy, very bendy. So you can potentially do the do the top with that. There you go. So imagine that's there. Um, can I rest that on top, or is it all going to fall over? It's going to try. Okay, and then we obviously got all this stuff. Half of it we're not using. Um, half of it we are. The stuff we're not using is all of the bolts because they're all the wrong size, uh, which is just excellent. Literally needs to be the next size down. I think. Unless these holes are just not designed for nuts and bolts, I don't know. No, that's definitely not going in there. Maybe I'm going at it from the wrong end? There is a... There is a... I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Um, I'm thinking that's going to be attached to that like so. And the arm is going to come out. It's roughly about that high, isn't it? And then the hammer's going to be attached to that. So yeah, that's the idea. Either that or we, we make that longer. Not quite sure how long Rusty's hammer is. Um, that, is that is the plan. And then oh, obviously we've got, got Rusty hat as well, which is hat. Rusty hat, you can't see Rusty hat. Rusty hat's up there somehow. There he is, look. Ooh, ooh, rusty hat. Ooh, good. Batteries are ordered. I have two, uh, so I've got a spare that can be on charge uh, while the other one is in the robot. And um, that's something I can tick off the list, actually. So let's get the old red pen out. And uh, I'm gonna do this. Try that, shall I? Oh. Oh. Right, before we set off, I'm going to measure the size of these holes so that I get the right sized bolts and nuts, because that was a shambles. Um, <laughs> they'll come in useful for something, I'm sure. That there looks like a 5mm hole to me. Good stuff. <laughs> 